so today we'll be looking at the Nilfisk VL500 752. So it's a 75 liter twin motor wet and dry vacuum cleaner. Um, the Nilfisk VL500 752 is quite unique in that it can be used for collecting dry materials and liquids at the same time. Traditionally, wet and dry vacuum cleaners are either wet, are wet or dry. That means that they can go ahead and collect bulk water, for example, but you must remove the bags and the filters inside the machines first, collect the water, empty it out, and if you want to go ahead and collect your dry materials, you have to put your filters and your bags inside of it to collect dry dust or powders. Uh, if you don't, then what will happen is that you end up damaging the motors or you don't have any filtration, the dust will just come back out into the atmosphere again. So with the Nilfus VL500, the filters are inside the machine permanently um, and that means that you can use it for one application or the next. Where that might be useful is, for example, in manufacturing or processing plants. So if you have uh, an area inside um, your business where you have some dry, some materials that have fallen out on the, on the floor, so you might have some plastic or, or, um, or wood, for example, metal shavings, you can go ahead and collect all of those off the, from the ground and off the equipment uh, at the same time, you can go ahead and vacuum carpeted areas and general floor areas from the leaves and other debris. And then you need to collect some water from another area of the, of the warehouse where um, there may be some water that has come down onto the floor. You can take the machine from one location and put it straight into work in another location without having to stop and empty the, sy the system out uh, and clean it. So you just go ahead and go from one to the other. Um, so the beauty behind the Avila 500 also is that it has two motors. Two motors is going to give you plenty of power. So it's the, the two 1200 watt high speed wet and dry bypass motors. Um, and that allows you to give you, um, sorry, it gives you lots of airflow. So really high airflow at the same time, it's going to give you good pressure. So the machine comes with um, a 40 millimeter, two and a half meter hose. And this will give you two and a half meters reach from the vacuum itself. If you need to extend this and, and get um, to a further distance from the machine, you can possibly look at it about maybe an 8 meters hose in a, in a 40 millimeter diameter. Or if you want to go longer to let's say 12 meters for example reach, you can reduce a hose down to about 35 millimeters. And this machine should be fine to handle that kind of workload. Of course, the important thing about the vacuums is the filtration. So the Nilfus VL500 comes with uh, two filters. So what you have is you have this primary. Uh, it's a nylon, very, very tough bag. I'll just split it up and I'll just show you through here. So you have this nice nylon bag. So as the dust has been collected, it comes through, it enters inside your, your, your canister. And what you have is you have this deflector. You can see inside there. So you have this deflector. The dust comes through, it hits this it'll rotate, drop down to the bottom of the canister, and as it fills up, any of your fine dust and uh, let's say plastics or other materials will come through, that mesh strainer will stop that from entering the motor itself. And then you have yourself your, this is your, your fine dust filter. So this is a wet and dry, it's a washable filter, it's very tough, and that stops any fine dust coming through and entering your motors and of course coming back out into the atmosphere again. This is all washable, so it's really, really easy to use. Now bear in mind, if you need to increase the level of filtration, you can put a HEPA filter inside the machine as well, it's, that's an optional extra. Um, what you can't use the machine is, you can't use the machine in hazardous um, environments. So if you're collecting hazardous dust, uh, you, you know, because you can put a HEPA filter inside of it, it doesn't mean it may make the machine a H-class vacuum cleaner. You're just going to increase the level of filtration. Uh, what you shouldn't use the machine as well is that if you're dealing with combustible dust or, or materials also, uh, or of course if you're dealing with something that's going to be heat, um, so in bakeries, furnaces for example, because it is all plastic as well. What you're going to have here is, uh, is a 12 meter, sorry it's a 10 meter actually, standard socket okay plug and that just means that you, the machine can be used in any outlet so any any power outlet throughout your workplace you should be able to just plug it in and go ahead and use the, the vacuum cleaner as well to empty the machine out what you do is you can actually remove the whole motor all together so just grab the motor and lift it straight upwards pop it down remove your filters So whatever you have just collected will either be inside this tank 
or you can use disposable bags. Disposable bags uh, have a capacity of about 40 liters of dry materials. So if you're collecting lots of fine dust um, and you want to be able to dispose of it without having to empty this big canister out, you can put your bags inside that. But let's pretend that this is all full of water. So one of the ways that you can empty the machine out is to, there's a little latch in the front of the machine just here, and you can just tilt it. And all your materials, all your bulk water, will just come through and empty out onto uh, the floor, onto a drain, for example. Now, if you want to direct um, the flow of the water that's coming out, you can remove this little lid from the top of the machine, uh, and you can, now you have a spout. Okay? So the water will actually come through here, and it'll be more direct, so you can get it into your drain when you, if you're collecting lots of water and you need to empty it out. Now, um, obviously, if you don't want to go ahead and lift it, uh, and what you can do is take this little hose out from the back, your drain hose, and just go ahead and just let that drain into a hose somewhere. So if you have no space to lift it or you're not able to, then you have this option here as well. So there's three ways to empty the machine out, and it's all quite easy to do. Um, just make sure you put this all back into place again. So the machine also comes with, um, like I said before, a two and a half meter hose. And this hose here is has a stainless steel end piece on there. So that makes it quite robust. Uh, plus they also give you two stainless steel 40 millimeter rods, like that. And this is the wet and dry head. So the wet and dry head has your squeegees and your brush all, all in the one piece. So as you're collecting your materials, you can go ahead and leave it completely dry on the surface and any dry dust uh, or particles, it'll just help to flick it forward and collect all the dry dust as well out of, out of there. So if you're just collecting fine dust on the floor, you can, it also comes with a, a, a brushed head only. Okay? So this one over here is just for dry materials only, not for liquids. You would use the liquids with this head here. Um, as well as that, it does come with a long crevice tool. Um, and that's just for getting in and around um, different areas as well. You can put a whole range of brushes on this machine, so different size brushes and tools and rubber nozzles for um, you know, making the whole cleaning a lot more efficient as well. So what we're going to do now is show you how to use the machine. So to use the, the VL500, first of all you plug it in. Make sure it's turned off obviously. The hose will just plug into the front of the vacuum cleaner. Okay, so it uses this, um, it's a push-on tapered system, and so you should, you can pull the machine along with it, but ideally you want to be able to use the trolley to maneuver it around the workshop and, and the, the workspace. So uh, put your rods on, and the head just pushes on. Everything's been designed to just just push on, push and twist. Turn your back. Plenty of power, it's nice and quiet, it's really easy to use, very easy to empty out as well. Uh, and then of course, all the parts on this machine can be stored directly onto the vacuum. So on the side here, you have this little device that allows you to store your tools on there. So, that'll just click onto here, you have a little hook, might remove that head. And in the back of the machine as well, you can store all your tools. This just makes it all easy to use, easy to store. Um, the other thing that it comes with is this, this handle. Okay, So that handle can be adjusted for storage, or it depends on who's using it. So if you're maneuvering it from one place to, to the other in the workshop, you can go ahead and just lock that into place. So um, it's a very, very versatile wet and dry vacuum cleaner. Um, the other attachment that you can buy for the machine, it's actually, it's called an outrigger. And what, you, what it do, has is, it's a 60 centimeter version of this, it's a brush, which will actually snap on. It's a special kit that you modify at the base and it'll sit in the front of the machine. And that allows you to just walk behind and just clean large areas of, of open space, warehouse space, without having to stop and use the, the hose and the tools. Um, so you can just walk behind the machine as well. So as far as um, a true wet and dry vacuum cleaner is concerned, that's nice and quiet, very, very powerful. Uh, the Nilfis VL500 tick all the boxes.